Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are going to have a bite-sized review of the Ohana breakfast that I just recently got a chance to eat. Now this is a this used to be a character dining experience, but it is no longer after COVID. But after the announcement that April 18th character hugs are returning, the characters should be coming into the poly at in the near future. So just be aware that this is before the characters. And with that being said, the price point is very reasonable whenever you think of Disney standards. It is $25 per adult and $14 per kid. It comes with all-you-can-eat skillets, comes with scrambled eggs, pork breakfast sausage links, Hawaiian-style ham topped with pineapple compote, fried island-style potatoes, Mickey-shaped waffles, and stitch-shaped waffles, which surprised me because I was not ready for stitch-shaped <laughs> waffles, but there they were, and biscuits, plus an absolutely delicious pineapple coconut, coconut bread, plus fresh fruit as sort of an appetizer. The fresh fruit and this bread were the highlights of the meal. Everything else was relatively average. The potatoes also were pretty good as well. Other than the ham, the pineapple, the pineapple coconut bread, and the potatoes, everything else was pretty average, I'm sorry to say. It's quantity over quality in this place, like most buffets are on property. And this meal also comes with unlimited pog juice, which is a Disney staple made up of passion fruit, orange juice, and guava. There's basically sugar in the glass, so do be aware that uh, your kids might be bouncing off the walls after they drink this. So for the family, you can skip the $27 parking fee that the ticket and transportation has right now, and also the ridiculous lines at the monorail as well. You get your own personal monorail at the Polynesian if you are entering the parks, and you can park at the Polynesian. All you have to do is go up to the guard gate and say, hey, I have a reservation for Ohana, and they'll just wave you through. You don't have to tell them what time because I was dining. My reservation was at 1130. I parked there at 8.15, went into the Magic Kingdom for rope drop, had a wonderful day, and was able to make my reservation at 11.30. Now this meal will fill you up to the point of near explosion. So much in fact that, for me, I did not need another meal until a late night snack. Um, and I ate at 11.30, which for me is... It's pretty surprising. <laughs> But this experience does include as many skillets as you can eat. As a regular family style meal, remember the characters are no longer there, but they should be returning. And so definitely try and fill up as much as you can for a budget friendly caloric feast, you know? Um, in short, a decent breakfast for a decent price and Disney standards is very approachable menu items, sausage, and waffles. The kids will eat that, plus tremendous fresh pineapples and an awesome pineapple coconut bread, and also unlimited pog juice, which I will rate all of that as a 7.5. I've had better breakfasts on property, but not a bad option whenever you're dining at the Poly. So thank you all for listening, and have a wonderful day.